Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm going to go into detail on this uh, table that Gary built me. I'll give you dimensions and everything and, and go over it thoroughly because I had a request for that. Before I do that, I want to talk to you guys for a minute. Oh, and uh, I'd like also like to say thank you for all the birthday wishes yesterday. Really appreciate it. It was nice seeing them. A lot of people commented that don't normally comment, and that was pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I got my truck back from uh, my mechanic, and he got that patch. You see that right there? Frame is as good as new now. Hope you can see that. You see, you put that plate on there and weld on both sides. So that should last a while, but it's already been welded there like two or three times. I'll go over what that cost here in a little bit. So just let me set this up here on the tripod. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, how my birthday went yesterday. Started off, Mike got here about 9 a.m. And as you know, he, he blew out a tire and a bearing on the quad trailer. And the other tr tire was pretty much shot too. It was all dry rotted. It had to been over 15 years old. The axle's still good. So I said, here, you're going with me because you keep saying you're going to fix it and it don't get fixed. And I told him I'd pay for it. So I said, let's go. We got my truck. We went to Tractor Supply. I bought two brand new tires, two tubes, a set of bearings, caps for the bearings, grease, some fix-a-flat, some WD-40 that I needed for, for my truck and other things. Ended up spending a hundred and I think it was 178 185 dollars something like that so I mean that's how I started out my day you know this you know I, I picked that up Tuesday night he had to he patched the frame I'll show you the tires here in a minute he put two new tires newer tires on it not new tires and changed the oil that cost me 240 Tuesday night so I spent that Tuesday night and then I spent the 185 Wednesday morning so that means I'm broke right Pam, nope. On Tuesday, I went to the day before my birthday. I went and bought my lottery tickets and hit for one hundred and forty-four dollars on my favorite set of numbers on Kino, which has drawings every like three minutes. So then I went back to the gas station, got another set of tickets, and won another one hundred and forty-four dollars. So now I'm up, you know, about three hundred. And uh, I said, well, I might as well go to the casino because I don't got anything planned tomorrow and I got extra money that I can lose. Went up to the casino, started hitting 22, 26, 30, and, and uh, 10 on, on the roulette table. Before you know it, I'm up over $300. I put 200 in my pocket and uh, about a half hour later, I said, I think it's time for me to go. So. I cashed in the 120 that I bought in and the 200. Well, it was actually 214 what came out to be. I just put a big pile in there. I also asked the pit boss if he could count me a count me a a, a buffet because I need to eat. And I went and ate at the buffet, so I actually celebrated like the day before. But so I won 200 there, and then you know about 300. So that covered all my expenses. And then and then uh, uh, oh yeah. Back to my birthday, after Mike and I bought all that stuff, we went and cut that load of wood, as you've seen on the video yesterday, and um, we brought that over and gave it to Scott across the street, not John's name, not John, but Scott, he lives there, and then I, I, Mike said he'd come back, he was, had to go help his brother with something, he said he'd be back an hour, of course he never came back, so I, I called a customer and I just said, hey, here, I'm going to bring you some wood, and I came out here. I split an oversized truckload at like three, you know, three o'clock or three thirty. I got done, and I delivered it to him, you know, half hour away, and got paid one hundred ninety dollars. So, and then I just called it for the night. So, that's what, I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, let's start talking about this. I'll show you the tires. I don't want to knock that over. So, those are those are the tires that were on there. These are the newer ones. I don't know how much he probably charged me. He probably charged me a hundred dollars for the pair. It's got some decent tread. You know, should get me through the winter. 
into spring. You know, I don't know how much life they have left. Here's the other one. So I don't know. It's not too bad. But anyway, as far as this goes, so Gary made the, I had Gary make this for, you know, I'll put Gary's story on the, at the end screen videos, but it's made out of an inch and a half uh, pipe. There's eight of them. It measures uh, 24, 24 inches across this way. And, and then this way it's 26 inches. And then he's got this uh, angle iron welded on there. And um, that's just what, you know, when I split a piece to try to keep it from rolling. The inside has, uh, it, it's, has angle iron on there. It looks like about two or two and a half inch angle iron. I'll get back on the other side and show you that. It's bolted on. So he's got these four bolts stick it through with lock washers. I think one of them doesn't have a lock washer, but they've been on there the whole time. And that's what holds it. Also, he put some shims behind the, uh, behind the angle iron that is bolted on. So it's, it's at a little bit of an angle. As you can see, it's about a five degree angle because if it was flat, they'd be more apt to roll off. So they tend to slide back. I don't know if I could step through here. But I did it there, save some time. You can see the angle iron better on this side. You can see how all the, the tubes are welded onto there, all the pipe is. And he way over engineered it, but you know what? I, that's okay. It'll never break. See how he's got that on there? Sometimes the pieces fall off on this side a little bit, but not very often. I don't know whoever designed designed this uh, splitter, but that's a terrible spot to put the, that hydraulic hose. Because before this was on there, you know, pieces would split and fall and land on it. And that's probably what how it got so damaged. You know, you, you uh, if you remember my other channel, I was having trouble with that popping off after they welded it down here. They didn't tighten this on enough. So now I got two clamps holding it. But the problem with uh, with this table that's on here now, the, the splitter does go into the vertical position, but now when it goes down, I haven't even tried it, it, it hits the tire there, you know what I mean? It's right above the tire where the pivot point is. So it would be like on an angle, but you know what? I got other ways of getting the pieces quartered. Plus it's kind of a pain in the ass, a pain in the ass to do it you know, get big pieces up here and try to split it. I mean, well, it's uh, on the ground just because when you split a big piece, it's laying flat on the ground. And I got videos of that on my old stolen channel too, um, that it the wedge is only, you know, six inches long. When it hits a, bit, a huge piece, it only splits it so far. So then you gotta rotate it. And when it's on the ground, it's harder to rotate than when it's up here, so. I'm going to give you a little bit of bonus footage, some splitting. I got a delivery. I got to do an oversized truckload up it, up north, about 35, 40 miles. I'm charging her $200. I just got a call for uh, two calls for wood. My list has about, I don't know, I got about 10, 15 truckloads ordered, and that's with a new price. People are still buying, you know. Mike is here. Him and Alex are just here. They were they were uh, swapped out the rims on the tires, put the the new tires on. So he's out cutting, but I'm gonna have to get more than this. This guy's coming and uh, like, you know, I can only do so many deliveries a day, but people are coming and picking up too. I gotta turn this so I can get a good pull on this because uh, I don't want my elbows hitting that. Oh, not first bull, Brady. Second bull.
don't know, it might stall. Oh well. Didn't want to shut it off. But in short, Gary came over. I went over it with him. You know, kind of, we just talked about ideas on how to build that. And uh, he made a sketch up. I said, that looks good, you know. We didn't make no blueprint, kind of did it in his head. You know, he was a real resourceful guy. So, and I'm real happy with it. Yes, I paid $200 for it, which is probably $100 more than, it's, than I should have, but Gary's helped me out a lot. And uh, I felt I owed him and I didn't feel bad paying for it, you know, so. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you at the next one.